Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Now this grief was very great. We begin from there. But we find from the previous verses that Job is the greatest of all in the east. So know that when you are the greatest when it comes even to trials great ones come on your way. So you need to brace yourselves. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But we need to learn some interesting things. We have read, you have known the, the story as it goes. And now there are points that we are going to pick from this. Ya kwamba, when God has a plan for you, always the devil will come and try countering the plans of God in your life. And because Satan has many agents on earth who are willing to help him do the job, you may fall one a prey you may fall a victim of the one who has been convinced otherwise against the plan of god in your life and understand that the plan of god in your life is just for your benefit on earth though god created you for him he also says that you will eat the good of the land and so when you stand close to god you will benefit you will be blessed your children will be the brightest not only in school but they will give back to the society with the same kind of brightness but because somehow somewhere people are roaming around to cheat us amen with no invitation when the sons of god were going to present themselves in 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 uh, to god in heaven satan also went to present himself himself i don't believe if god invited this man there are people who come with no invitation to come and tell you they are staff. And when they come, believe you me, they will always say things that are about a neighbor. That are about a person who thought he was progressing. But now he is not. They come with a bad answer. And we know that the children of God also are supposed, instead of going to speak such, are supposed to go and fellowship. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews 10.27, that do not forsake the, the, the habit of fellowshipping as they did so much the more when the day approaches. The day of Christ is approaching and what we are supposed to do now as the children of God is to fellowship, not to go and speak and gossip. We have these issues even in offices. Amen? One of the sisters said here that we are not supposed to be diplomats in the house of God. And I would say, for real, there are no diplomats out there. Because the people we think are diplomats, they are diplomats in their vehicles outside on the road. But when they are alone in their offices, go and listen to what they say. You will wonder, this diplomacy is what on this earth? They speak about some people, and the best they can do is to plot the downfall of their leader. So that another one rises. That is the only thing these people can do on earth. But thank God, he has given us the spirit that is not like any other spirit. And this Holy Spirit is the one that teaches us everything on earth. How we are supposed to handle things, how we are supposed to walk, how we are supposed to handle the problems that come our way. The Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I will not leave you as orphans, but I'm going to send you a helper. The Holy Spirit who will always stand by you teach you, and he will also guide you. And the Spirit sometimes intercedes in the word, words we cannot groan in our own utterances. The Spirit of God is all round. The problem is, we, need, we, we are now trying to identify with the world as children of God. They drive, so I has, I'm supposed to drive. Who said driving is depicting the picture of God? Who said Driving is showing that God has wealth. In fact, I'm the one who admires to drive. And as a matter of fact, I think it's long overdue. Bro, Greg, long overdue. I don't have it. But the thing is this. I think God has delayed for me to learn fast. Amen? Yakwamba, when we get these things, I'm using driving, meaning other things are there inside. We are supposed to be prepared and be mature enough to know really what greatness in the kingdom of God is. Amen? Listen. 
The things we acquire by our hands are not the things God blesses us with. Let me go quicker and explain. When we shall find in the book of, in the same book, chapter 42, when God restores Job, he blesses Job with 14,000 sheep. Sheep were 7,000. They are now 14,000. He blesses Job with camel, 6,000. They were 3,000. Another double. Amen? Yoke of oxen. He gives Job 1,000 yoke of oxen. They were five. Another double. We come to donkeys, female donkeys for that matter. And there must be some, some, some bulls. Okay, suji na etuaje ya sasa ya... Yeah, 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 Punda. Now, he's giving, he's giving female donkeys how many? 1,000. They were 500. But when it comes to children, it's not double. It is three daughters and seven sons. Now, things that belong to God remain in plan as they were. And when restoration comes, he gives you exactly that. Those things that we do by our hands are the things that God can double. But things that God has given you, these children, they only come from God. It is not our power. God maintains. The blessings of the Lord are a year and amen. Amen meaning ikue hivyo. Zikipotea zinarudishwa zikiwa hivyo. The blessings of God. But when it comes to our power, God can soothe our hearts. Amen. Permissive will, I'll give you more. Now, I'm telling you this because you need to understand what God values. God values what he gives. He values that and the blessing of God remain constant. There's no subtraction, there's no addition. Now, as I said, Satan has, is fond of philosophies of cheating people. And Satan is telling God that can this man just be like that if, one, if, if you did not put a hedge of, of fire around him, around his property, around his household. You see that philosophy? Yakumba, I will only do good things if there is a benefit in it. That is what Satan is doing. But God he's only, he's, has already given us how the story will go. God knows this man is upright. This man shuns evil. This man will not betray me. He will stand by me. Hallelujah. And Satan will always remain Satan because Satan is not God. You know, when Satan was going to test Job, one, he was not allowed to do so and, until God said so. Now go. But in, in real sense, it was God testing this Satan. It was not Satan testing, testing Job per se. The story goes like that. But when, but when you look deeper, it is God testing this philosophy. Ya uyu adui shetani. Ya kwamba mtu hawezi yakafanya mazuri kama hawezi kufaidika nayo. Mungu anamwambia nenda. Nenda ukafanya lakini Mungu alikuwa anajua tayari ana deal na mtu wa aina gani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And so wakati shetani anafikiria yeye ndiye ana test Mungu na mtu wa Mungu, kumbe ni Mungu kusema kweli ndiye ana test huyu shetani. Because there's no way Satan will win. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And and God anyway allows Job to go and only test God, test Job on his wealth, you will read that from Job chapter 1, verse 1 to 22. Amen. Job was a very good man, was committed to God. He prospered financially and highly esteemed in this world. Alikuwa ni mutu tu anajulikana, ni kaa utaja tu our leaders, wetu the top politicians, ukiwa taja wakiwa mahali, you will go and just see them, not even to greet them. So Job was esteemed in that world. And, and God allowed Satan to cause Job to suffer terribly, yet Job did not sin. That stands. That stands. Now, when we come to health, the second test, 
Satan then proposed to God that Job would turn against God. And in fact, he said, he said he will curse you to your face. Sio rumors. Sio leo unasikianga mtu alikuwa anaongea kuhusu pastor huko nje. Anakuja anaambia pastor wewe. I'm not good in saying what people say. Amen. Can you think of anything nasty? Amen. Against pastor. But he's not telling me to, to even. And in fact, when he tells me, I will not tell pastor tena direct. It answer to kusiki, kusikika. But Satan tells God, Job will curse you to your face. Atakuja mwenyewe in person. Akuambie vile wewe ni mubaya. Wanesu asifiwe. Amen. So he proposes. He proposes that Satan proposes.